Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the kitchen for a cooking video and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've done a couple, they haven't turned out. That's why this has taken so long for me to get another one up. I will redo those though and they will be up as well. But today I want to share with you how to do black beans in the Instant Pot. So the great thing about these is Oh, I haven't even, that's the one thing I didn't get out. And I just got these out of the cabinet because guess what? They don't have to be soaked. Isn't that glorious? Uh, so I've made these a couple times and uh, they turn out really well. And I just think it's so convenient. You don't have to soak them. So again, you can do it the day of and it's not something you have to think of the night before, which is always good so this recipe not my own recipe it is the pioneer woman black bean recipe i absolutely love this i made this before i had the instant pot which is why whenever i learned that you didn't have to soak beans and cook them in the instant pot this is the exact recipe i went for so they are super super yummy um they're great as a side we're actually going to put them in like taco bowls we do rice black beans chicken or steak and then we'll do like pico um corn sometimes we make little bowls and it's something that we eat quite frequently so i have made these beans i've frozen them um tonight we're just gonna have them fresh because i'm making this video so we're super super excited i have the marinated chipotle chicken in the fridge and we are so excited to grill this up tonight. If you guys are interested in this recipe, let me know. And I gotta get that pico. Oh, and look, there's dishes in my sink because this is real life and I'm actually traveling and gonna be doing a little bit of traveling and so I'm trying to film these videos ahead of time. So it's crazy and I haven't got the dishes done today, but I'm gonna do them after I start this because I didn't wanna do them and then start this because that would be a waste of time. If I'm going to be waiting on these to cook anyways, I might as well start this and then do the dishes while they're cooking. So let's get started. Uh, I have my black beans. I'm going to do one pound today. All right, and then four cups low sodium chicken broth. I have my chicken broth here. It's a little over three. Um, for the Instant Pot, you just need the liquid to cover the beans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the other ingredients before I add that last cup of chicken broth. Because I've done these before, but I didn't make a note <laughs> like I tell you guys to do. Make notes whenever you convert recipes so you remember the next time. I didn't do that. So I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients and then I'll see if I need to add the rest of the liquid. Uh, so we have here, oh, let's go ahead and do this in order so I don't forget something. Three cloves of garlic, I'm using garlic. You know, one of our subscribers taught me that. I thought it was hilarious. Three cloves of that. One medium onion. I, I just chopped this up with my favorite little chopper. So I actually left it out, which is why all that stuff is on the counter because I'm going to cut up the rest of these and freeze them before I leave town so they don't go bad. Speaking of that, these bell peppers that I'm adding in were from the freezer because I had some extra bell peppers that were gonna go bad and so I cut them up before they went bad and I'm gonna use them in this recipe. So we have one green bell pepper. They're gonna go in frozen. I'm just gonna try to break them up a little bit. Break up pretty easy. One green. Hello Paisley, welcome yellow this is these beans are so pretty too because of all the color oh it doesn't actually call for orange green red and yellow do i have a red i do have a red just since it called for it i'll put my orange back in my freezer bag i store them chopped up in individual bags and then in a freezer bag and i just keep this in my freezer onions too and you can use them for stir fries or whatever for fast dinners. All right, red bell pepper. Put that in. 
All right, now I'm gonna stir this up and see where I'm at with my liquid. I think I ended up using all the cups of liquid. If I remember right. Okay, let's put the seasonings in. Um, it calls for one and a half teaspoons of all these things. I just put two teaspoons because I like it that way. All right, two teaspoons of chili powder. Close enough. I love baking, but this is what I love about not baking is you don't have to be perfect. You just gotta get close. And then salt. And then I add just a dab of oil, like less than a tablespoon to help with all the foam. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It doesn't look as pretty as normal because it has those chunks of bell pepper, which I'm not worried about because they'll cook in there just fine, but I have to show you guys. So this is how pretty it is. Look at all that color, so good. Alrighty, so as you guys could see, everything was pretty covered, but I don't wanna have a not enough liquid. So I'm just going to, I guess I'll measure it just in case. So I can tell you guys. I don't think I'm gonna need a whole nother cup though. We'll see how it turns out. Like I said, I would rather not, I would rather enough liquid than not enough, but really I think you would probably be okay with three to three and a half cups. All right, so I got my lid ready. I have my little thing back here and I'm gonna put this on, making sure my seal is in. Put this on. We're gonna do high pressure for 20 to 25 minutes. And yeah, they're just gonna cook right up. So I am going to do 20 minutes because last time I did 25 and they were a little bit soft for me. So I'm gonna do 20 minutes today and see how it goes. All right, manual down to 20. And make sure this is to ceiling. And then I'm just gonna let it go. So I will see you guys back here once, once it's done. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up these onions so I can put them in the freezer. Oh, and do the dishes. Ugh. Gotta get those dishes done. All right guys, I am back and it has been off on warm, natural pressure releasing for 22, 23 minutes now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and release the rest of the pressure and see if they got cooked all the way. Definitely didn't need that extra cup of broth. I'm gonna make a note right now. We only need three cups of broth instead of four. I really don't think you need that extra one. All right, it looks good. I'm gonna give it a taste test. That's good. I think next time that I do it, I'm gonna do it for 23 minutes and do natural pressure release for at least 25 minutes. I think is what I'll do next time. I think that'll be pretty close to perfect. Like I've said before, it's all about just figuring it out on timing and um, it's hard to run stuff. So just take notes and see how it goes. Here's the bowl, rice, black beans, uh, chipotle chicken, mozzarella, pico, a little bit of sour cream. That is it for these black beans in the Instant Pot. Let me know if you guys have done something similar or what your favorite black bean recipe is. Or let me know down below if you're going to try this one. I think it is great. I will link the Pioneer Woman recipe 
down below along with the modifications that I made in the cook time so you guys can reference back to that quickly if you need to. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Subscribe if you haven't already by hitting the red button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!